Alright everyone, welcome to the Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, and this is going to be a Let's Play incorporating Hitman elements. Now what brought this on? Uh, I realised that a large portion of my subscribers are here because of Hitman 2. Uh, I've had a large influx of subscribers because of the Hitman Guide videos and stuff that I put out. This channel was never actually meant to be Hitman exclusive. If you look at the older videos, I have always made uh, quite a few Crusader Kings Let's Plays, although they don't get a whole load of views or comments. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, why not just try and make something that incorporates uh, some elements that other people like. Um, so I'm going to make this more newbie friendly. I'm going to be explaining a lot more about what I'm doing, the mechanics and so on. So hopefully just for starter players in Crusader Kings who probably have no interest in Hitman itself, will be able to maybe find some useful things in this Let's Play. Now, what is the actual um, goal of this playthrough? It's going to be kill 500 people on one character. <laughs> now, that's going to be either on a starting character or his descendants. Now, that's going it, to... It is very doable, but you need to have the right conditions. So... Um, we're going to start in the year 769. We're going to choose a tribal um, government. Now, there's varying governments. There's nomadic. They're like horse-based, you know, nomadic uh, tribes, I suppose, or clans. Uh, feudal, which is, well, what you expect from when you think medieval. Uh, you know, king with vassals and so on. Ikta, which is basically feudal, just for uh, Muslims, and then there's Imperial, which is, well, it's uh, like an, a special government for certain empires. And um, but we're going tribal because we want to be able to join a warrior lodge. Tribals usually all have access to a warrior lodge, and uh, that will be uh, quite important, actually. And you know what, I, I just kind of want to start somewhere central. I'm thinking of maybe starting in Krakow, here in Poland. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just create a character to begin with. Hairstyle, well, it's going to be 47. So, uh, let's get rid of that. Hair color, doesn't matter because we're bald. <laughs> eyes, can we get some murder eyes in here? That looks fairly stern. We'll just go with that. We're not going to spend too much time because um, trying to create 47 in this is going to be, well, not really too easy. Can we get... Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, maybe. No. Mm. Let's look at these jaws and stuff. Yeah, what's it going to look like when he's old? <laughs> yeah, that's a bit more blood money-ish, I suppose. Uh... <laughs> we'll just go we're not we're not gonna spend too much time on this. We're just gonna go with most most like reasonable Yeah, those cheeks look pretty good. Um ears doesn't really matter I suppose. Eye colour no, we'll just stick with that. Alright. Uh now we need a coat of arms. You don't get much choice though, starting as a uh pagan. Um we're gonna choose we're going to get the colours right first. There you go. Black with red. Mm. Oh. Does that... That can kind of be a tie, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> so it's 47's tie. Just a bit like, uh, I don't know, caught in the wind or something. Uh, we are going to be called 47. Dynasty. I don't know, 40... Seven? No, um, ICA, yes, we are the ICA dynasty, with the founding, uh, well, the dynasty founder being 47. We're going to choose an education that is uh, an elusive shadow, of course, it makes sense, because there's intrigue, personal combat skill, and we're going to be good at everything, we're going to just bump these stats up, because 47 is good at everything, so... That's just the way it's, way it's going to be. Now, I, ha I have um, Ruler Designer unlocked, installed. It's a small mod. That's the only mod 
I've got installed um, that affects anything really. Uh, it's going to make our, our stats good without increasing our age, so we can stay 16 and actually try and get that uh, 500 kills. Now, is 47 strong? Is he a genius? Or is he just quick? I think he's strong and quick, right? He's <laughs> celibate, <laughs> I, I, probably, but uh, we're not going to choose that. We want to be able to get uh, a 47 junior. And well, well, he's probably chaste, though, or chast. That probably makes more sense. Yeah. Temperate? Is he temperate? Mm, charitable? Mm, in dealing out death, maybe he is, yes. Diligent, of course, definitely. Kind? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Patient? Yeah? Um, I mean, deceitful? Yes. Brave? Most definitely. Gregarious? Probably not. I mean, he can be if he wants to. Ambitious? I don't think he's got too much ambition. He's just... He's probably content more than anything, despite... Uh, I don't know. We're going to avoid this. Is he just? Has he ever killed... Like, has he ever, ever killed someone that didn't deserve it? Usually, his targets usually... At least uh, from Hitman 2016 onwards. Um, I mean, I haven't played too many of the older games. Uh, at least... From 2016 onwards, he uh, kills everyone who has it already coming, so... <laughs> Cynical? Probably. Although, I'm not sure. Just... Now, we're going to leave that. We're going to get these traits for him. He he's like a god among men already. So, um... Yes. Let's start. Now, game rules. For anyone who does play CK2, which... Uh, well, I'm going to assume the most people who watch this or have watched this far are probably interested in CK2. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to scroll through these um, rules that I've got. So if you want to have a look at them, you can uh, pause the video and uh, have a look. Because there's just too many rules to just go through all this. I've set it up in a way that I kind of prefer playing. These are actually all uh, Iron Man... Compatible, but we're not playing Iron Man. Iron Man. Plus, I've got Ruler's Design Unlocked in installed right now, so I can't play with four achievements anyway. The only change I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to allow Devil Worshippers. That gives us a new group of people to hunt, which will increase our kill counter. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to start. Alright. So, we... Oh, uh, why, what? Hey, hang on, wait a minute, why did I, I, I thought I got rid of the beard. Get rid of that. Okay. We are Chief 47 of Krakow. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, ensure that our ICA dynasty uh, flourishes. So we need to, oh, she's quick. We need to marry someone. All right, 17. Quick, high stewardship. Yes. We're going to choose this one. A priestess. Uh, we'll just send out a letter and say, hey, you want to wanna marry? And uh, she's probably going to say, yeah, oh, well. Yeah, she is. And uh, and that's that. Easy peasy. 16 years old. And you just send out a letter and there you go. You're married. All right. So, first thing first. We chose a wife with high stewardship because we want to have a collective, you know, high stewardship in order to hold lots of uh, titles personally. Our domain, this is uh, got the old spelling, the domain size basically, uh, is how many holdings you can hold yourself. Each county has a main holding and sub holdings. So these two counties here, which are currently tribal, you can see that they've got tribal names, Krakow tribe. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. It's <laughs> sin, something like that. <laughs> Tribe. Um, we can hold these two counties under us. If we had more than seven, we'd start suffering penalties and not get the full benefit of uh, those counties. Now over here, in feudal realms over here, let's click on Paris. You can see there's a barony, there's a bishopric, there's a town. If you held all those personally, 
you'd already be at six. That would all count towards your domain size. But of course, your government will not allow you to hold towns alongside uh, cities and so on. You can't. You can't do that. Um, you can't have a guy who is feudal, who owns a barony. You know, the, the king uh, also personally look over a bishop. I mean, you could, but you wouldn't get any kind of benefit out of it because it, you'd just be mismanaging it. So there's some rules like that. It's just to prevent you holding everything yourself, and this limit is there to prevent you going uh, crazy and holding every title personally. So whatever, we're gonna have a look at a council, chancellor. Someone to improve our, like, reputation of sorts. Anyone, really. These are the only people in our court right now, so we don't have much choice. We're just going to assign the right person for the right job. Uh, Miroslav. He's got 12 stewardship. I'd rather have him be my steward. All right, Miroslav, whoever you are, you can be my steward, and you can start building a legend, which will increase my prestige. And... Uh, have a small chance to raise some warriors, which will then fight for us. So, um, that'll be nice. Prestige will increase, and it's basically a currency of sorts. It will allow you to do certain things. The higher your prestige, the better. For example, as a tribe, I'll be able to improve the tribal holding by spending prestige on uh, these improvements. All right. Spymaster, this is going to be important. Who can be my spymaster? You. That will increase our intrigue, our state intrigue and stuff, which will be useful for killing people. <laughs> First, we're going to study some tech there. I think I want to get a few tech points. And the best place to, to study tech is in Constantinople. So you spend, you send your spymaster to study, because they've got good tech here to improve, and that... Him studying there will improve your tech. You can see all these cogwheels turning. You know, your tech is improving now because we're stealing tech, basically. Or observing tech in Constantinople and using that knowledge to improve our own holding. Which is that zero, zero, zero tech. It's absolutely terrible. Increasing these will give us certain benefits, such as, you know, unlocking new laws and uh, mandates and uh, obligation laws and... Getting more prestige, making our vassals like us more, having better supply lines, and it's all sorts of stuff. Alright, court chaplains. Yeah, anyone. This lady over here. Build zeal. That will get us prestige, which is... I mean, no, not prestige. Uh, piety, which is basically like prestige. It can be spent on doing certain things. Uh, usually in religious nature. So, martial... Uh, yeah, you can be the marshal, you can train troops and increase our numbers uh, of troops available to us. Currently we can only raise 800. They need to replenish though, and then we'll be able to raise 1,400, which is pretty nice. And uh, our way of life, our focus. Choose all sorts of focuses. Business, business rulership, scholarship, learning, uh, theology... Family, carousing, war, hunting, seduction. I'm going to choose intrigue. It makes sense. Because we're going to spy on people and dig up dirt on them and execute them for reasons that we made up. <laughs> In order to kill our kill, increase our kill counter, which is uh, grayed out right now. We've not killed anyone. It'll, it'll be available once we, well, send someone to the void or whatever. So I'm going to use a character finder to find a few people we're willing to join our court. I've got these filters set already. Um, this one is uh, men who are not in prison, not a ruler, adult, and within diplomatic range and are willing to join our court. I'm going to invite this guy. Yep. I'm pressing C here. You get, uh, I've got a mod actually that is re re uh, designs the UI to be much better and it includes lots of shortcuts. Although I think some shortcuts were incorporated into the main game already. Um, I'm pressing C to confirm a lot of th a lot of the times. All right, we've invited three random people who are will the only three people in the entire world, uh, known world, that are willing to join a court that are within range. There's just some random guys. We're just inviting them just to kill them. <laughs> now our ambition is going to be to become the king of Poland. There's all sorts of ambitions here. We'll, we'll look at them when we when we choose them, but. Well, now we want to become king of Poland, which will give us 
Unlimited Subjugation uh, Wars, uh, CBs, Casas Ballais, which will, is a reason for war, which you need to declare war in this game. Uh, and that will allow us to subjugate anyone within the du jour realm of Poland. If you click on the uh, du jour kingdom map mode, this is Poland. However, on the actual realm map mode, Poland does not exist. It's it's splintered, it's fractured, it does not exist yet. So we're going to have to unite Poland, which is this area, which is whatever, decided by, I don't know, cultural... I don't know, the history, it's decided by history or something, or, or something along those lines. Because <laughs> I don't believe, if you click on here, I don't believe it's existed in history, no. There's no history of any previous kings of Poland, it just hadn't been formed by then. So we're going to try and form Poland. We will found Poland. 47. And, uh, wife is on the way. Special... Titles, court tutor, this kind, brave, humble guy who's got eh, stats, whatever, you can be the court tutor. He will educate our kids and stuff. Master of the bow, it doesn't really matter. We've got no vassals currently. We don't need to hand out any titles like that. They're, they're just like special titles to make people, f you know, just like you more. Opinion plus 10, opinion plus 10, opinion plus 10, plus 5. Designate regent. I don't know. It doesn't matter as well. So, uh, we're on pause. We're just going to get this rolling. And in fact, we're going to join a warrior lodge. Yes, the champions of Perun. Okay, some guys joined our court that we invited. We're going to join the this lodge. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read these events. I'm just going to like summarize what they're about. Because otherwise, you'd be here forever. There's a lot of events and a lot of reading in CK2. So, yes, we're going to fight... To prove ourselves, we got 14... Oh, almost. Almost 47 combat skill. <laughs> got 49 combat skill, which is pretty beefy for someone who's like a newbie. So yes, we're going to fight to prove ourselves to join this warrior lodge. We're going to prove them that we, we deserve to be part of them. Aspiring much, huh? Yes. And we beat this guy up. And we... We didn't even get wounded. We just... We just Rinse this guy. <laughs> he's wounded now. He's got zero combat skill now because he's of his wounds. And, uh... Right. Our wife has arrived. The marriage ceremony will allow us to collect gold or prestige. We'll go for gold. Speaking of gold, we're going to build a marketplace. Market village, which will increase our yearly income. It'll be tiny. It's an investment that's worth it, I think. Okay. To the clever chief, 47. Yes. Okay, some more people have joined us. Alright. Have a look at our court. This guy kind of likes us. Plus 5. It's not really super likely. He doesn't hate us either. I'm going to start spying on him, which is what our intrigue focus allows us to do. I'm going to spy on him and dig some dirt on him and, well, get our first victim, I suppose. Speaking of victims as well, we're gonna find someone within diplomatic range who is an adult and is preferably male, just so we don't get negative bonuses, uh, opinions I mean. We're gonna start antagonizing someone. This antagonize button here. Yes, let's antagonize this guy. Let's make him our rival. He already hates us a good deal, so we're gonna really piss this guy off so he becomes our rival, because if he's our rival, in our relations tab, we can duel him. Since we're part of, um, well, we're going to be part of this uh, society in a second. Usually, you need the war focus to duel people. But since we're going to be part of a dueling of sorts uh, society, we get to duel our rivals anyway. Um, we can dig up some dirt on him. We can just like slander him. Nah, we, we want real information. What's this? Oh, a uh, warrior member now is instantly calling us to arms. He, he's saying, hey man, uh, I'll put in a good word for you in the lodge if you help me fight my war. But I'm going to say no. 
I'm not fighting your wars for you. The game's just started. I, I, I gotta, I gotta gain power first. All right. So then, oh, so then we're gonna find another person. Actually, can we kill you? Under one percent chance of firing this. Now we need a co-conspirator. Just starting this plot, this plot button here to try and kill him. Um, we need a co-conspirator to be able to fire the plot. Having over 100% is a better chance of uh, firing some kind of, uh, you know, scheme to try and murder the guy. But, um, without a co-conspirator, it's just not going to launch. Oh, look at this guy. 163% chance to kill this guy. This guy might join us, but you probably need a, a bribe to join us. I, it, that's that's not going to happen. We're not going to spend money on these people. Um, we're going to cancel this plot. Can we find someone who's really hated. We need to find someone. We need to. Yes, there we go. This guy who has a sixty-six percent plot power is he? Is he's a spy? <laughs> so here we go. He, this guy is the spy master in this guy's realm. So he's obviously got huge amounts of influence on uh, plot power. And this guy is in the same realm as that guy, and uh, he's Orthodox Christian, but this guy is a pagan. And the uh, the spy master is also pagan. So clearly, um, you know, this is the medieval times. Being of a different religion or culture it will make people very upset with you. Uh, this guy's zealous as well, so he he's a bit of a well, he's annoying. So people want him dead. That's what a lot of people want with other people in the medieval times. They want them dead. So we're gonna we're gonna make him dead. So that plot is going. We're gonna have we're gonna be able to just this is just some warrior lodge event. We're just, we're just gonna try and have like a, a medieval style rap battle of sorts. This is well not rap battle, it's more like insulting battle, but um What is he? Wait. So here's a bunch of insults. We can see the traits. Lustful. This works against envious people who are, who are shy. This works against ambitious or proud people. This works against kind people. This guy is kind. Now you, you'll eventually learn the traits. This is just kind, charitable, wrath. He's kind. So we're going to insult. We're going to lose piety for this insult. To see what you have become, your ancestors must be rolling in their graves. <laughs> Oh, and he lost his temper. We won, obviously. So, um... Stop being such a child. Damn it, might challenge you to a duel for insulting him. Yes, that's what we want. Do it. Yes. Damn it, has challenged you to a fight for glory because we just insulted him so much. Um, challenge accepted, of course. Or we can convene with my agents of ICA, of course. But that will lose... We'd lose the brave trait. We don't need that. No. Challenge accepted. Yes. We've got tons of combat skill. Why would that guy fight us? This guy's got minus five combat skill. I walk away victorious. No. I will show no mercy. We're going to get a permanent modifier that will make us merciless. But uh, that's, that's what we are. We're merciless. So... <laughs> there we go. Demit is no more. He was slain by Chief 47 uh, in personal combat. That's our number one of 500. Alright, we're going to need to dig up some more dirt on this guy. Now we are going to have a look at this neighboring realm. Chief Sedges? Oh my god, I can't pronounce these. <laughs> of Wilun. He has 600 troops. I want to replenish my troops. I want to have full strength and then I'll probably attack him. I want to try and create Paul in and then we're just going to try and bully everyone around us. Right? Like looting them and uh, abducting people and so on. Here we go. Uh, we've got events on this event tab. What can we do? We can worship the ancestors. Sure. If you said... Yeah, yeah, we've decided to visit a holy shrine. We're going to try and pray for something. Do we want affection and companionship? No, we want to guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my enemies. Yes, let's let's choose this option. We want to pray for blessings in uh, matters of 
well, combat and so on. Oh, and now we have to make a sacrifice. Either we can stab ourselves in the eye, or have a feast, or uh, cough some, uh, well, idols. But no, we're going to sacrifice someone, yes. We're going to sacrifice a courtier in honor of the god. I'm sorry, Uros, but... <laughs> There we go. We have, um, the offering struggled violently when the Volve and her disciples pushed it down, pushed it down <laughs> on the offering stone. So yes, um, this guy was sacrificed. That was number two. 47 is doing a good job at age 16. He has already killed two people. Uh, pick a patron DT for 25 piety. Yes, we'll do that. I pledged my axe to Perun and would give my life in his honor. So this option will allow us to get more martial. This is more intrigue, more stewardship, more learning. Yeah, more martial. Uh, I will prove myself a worthy follower. Yes, yes, blah, 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 blah. So there we go. Let's have a look. We're still antagonizing this guy over here in this realm. Oh, he's uh, he's part of a mercenary band, actually. He's not a actual... Um, uh, I can train some person to be less of a coward or something. Or to just be better. Yes, we'll train him. Because then we get renown, which we'll, we can spend on like special abilities like summoning warriors or um, choosing traits for our character. It's, it's, we'll, we'll look at that once we actually do it. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to click. Oh, he... You declined my offer. That I'm grateful. Uh, yes. What? I offered him my help and he refused. How dare you? 47 himself offered you help and you... We become bit, bit rivals. So I'm going to challenge this guy. Yeah, we are now rivals with this guy over here. This this chief of... Under, under the high chief of Pomerania. Um... Hello, what do you want to do? He wants, so we've, we've been given a mission. So every so often you get a mission to complete to get you more renown, which you can then spend on these uh, abilities. So yes, we're going to loot this province, sure. Where, where is this? Oh, it's this guy. All right, yes, we'll do that. We're going to raise our troops. We're going to set them to looting and we're just going to march onto his lands <laughs> and loot it. How many troops does he have in here? Not many. So, surely he will be uh, rather upset, but uh, such is the way of life. Can I, can I duel this guy? Oh, duelers have not recently been in any duel. Am I still recovering? Yes, I've had a duel victory. So I've got to wait until April 770. Uh, okay, I've gained a loyal servant, whatever. Let's just loot this guy's holding. And then I might attack him, actually. Uh, no, I am sure my courtier is up to something. We need to... Oh, this guy's getting powerful. This guy's just consolidated some land. He can be quite dangerous. Okay, we've looted the land and we got 20 gold out of it. Nice. So his holding's on fire. The guy hates our guts. Let's see. What's the year? Yeah. So he's our rival now. Oh, we can do it now, actually. Yes. So he's our rival. So we'll duel him for being our rival. How dare you? How dare you decline my uh, offer for help? I'm gonna lower my troops. The spineless Pomeranian scatterbrain chief Sobislav has refused your challenge. Oh, because we got high intrigue there, we can corner him. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. You will attempt uh, to corner blah blah blah. Uh, 0.8% chance of you succeeding to force. What? 0.8% chance? Uh, really? 
That wasn't uh, that was... I'm not sure why it was that. Uh, it's a special opportunity, a special event, uh, choice. While attempting to talk some sense into Chief Sovstaff in regards to him declining my duel, I've decided to sneak into his village, visiting with a dagger in my sleeve. I have a good feeling about this, when suddenly I hear people shouting, Who goes there? they demand, and I am surrounded by guards. What? 47? You've got 25 intrigue, how did you mess up? I, um, I'm here to inspect the facilities. You make a hasty run for it before anyone recognizes you. There will be no duel between you and Chief Sovstaff. Oh no, suspicious. <laughs> Never spotted, failed. Hmm, well, that didn't go so well. That was disappointing. Has he got some, like, serious defences? What's he doing? He's not paranoid or anything. He's a, he's a coward who's arbitrary, temperate and proud. Hmm. How disappointing. Anyway, we, we looted this guy's holding. Now he's got less troops because it's all on fire. We killed his troops in a siege. So we're going to... Subjugate the guy. Yes, we're going to subjugate him. In fact, because we're a count, now you can see by the outline here, we are only a count. There's three levels. There's a count, there's duke above a count. Um, let's try and find it here, actually, in, in the, an example. Um, so this guy's a count. There's a baron here. The smallest subholding. He's a baron. He's he's actually a mayor. And above him is a count. He is a vassal to this guy. This count is below a duke. He is a vassal to this duke. This duke is a vassal to the emperor. Now, he, there can be another level between that. It could go from duke to king and then to emperor. So... Yes, that's uh, medieval politics and stuff for you. Alright, let's group up our troops. Let's beat this guy up. Let's... I'm leading troops. Um, let's hope this doesn't go wrong. Oh, we're marching over the hills and one of my first motors is blah 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 blah. Okay. We can become an organizer. Better movement speed, better retreat. I think it gives you a chance for firing a pretty bad tactic as well though because there's whenever you're fighting in a battle like that like tactics fires and st there's like tactics that can fire now trying to understand combat in uh, CK2 I'm not even gonna bother like it's it's complicated okay <laughs> what you need to do is make sure that you've got decent commanders and more troops than the other guy and not and don't cross into a, over a major river into mountains or something stupid it's like you know the basic fundamentals <laughs> so we're gonna become a direct leader Unyielding? Nah, I'm gonna choose this. I just like moving quicker. So I'm gonna become an organizer. And now we've got a new trait here. There, yeah, we're an organizer. We can got better movement speed, better retreat chance. Uh, we're still digging up dirt on that guy in our court. Yeah, court physician. This guy who hates us. Yeah, I'm not sure if you want to make the uh, guy who hates you guts your... Like, in charge of your health. <laughs> Aha! So the guy that I was antagonizing somewhere over here, some random guy that I chose, um, is now my rival. My work with him is done. Yes. We become bitter rivals. This guy hates my guts now. He's like, why is this random bald dude from the other side of the world? antagonizing me well the reason is because we've probably got contract on him now I'm gonna choose another guy that hates us um, him some guy in uh, the kingdom of uh, oh no another mercenary band what's with these mercenary band people hating me I'm gonna antagonize this guy yeah this 26 year old and we found some dirt on the guy who hates us uh, in our court my trusted informants tell me that Pliskov von Kors is preaching his false religion in Krakow. My god. Um, we're going to expose and denounce him. Which gives us reason to imprison him. <laughs> so we've got a 68% chance of imprisoning him. But I want a better chance than that. My marshal's terrible. He's got four marshal. We're going to look. We're going to use this filter again to try and invite. Oh god. Can we replace you? You there! Look at you go! 
Oh, you're the guy who I got from the event or so? Wow, this guy's strong, he's a game master, so he's, he's got, like, got better tactics and so on. Yeah, you can be my uh, marshal, you've got 20. You'd probably be a better commander, but I want you uh, suppressing revolts, which gives us better arrest chance. So, we're going to wait a month. Now, the way the game works, you need to wait until the end of the month before the like values get updated. There you go. Okay, let's see. 88% chance of imprisoning this guy. Let's, let's do it. There you go. He's locked away in my dungeons now. We're going to try and we execute him. No one will care if I execute him. <laughs> there, he was hanged. So, our list is now... We've got three. Now, how are we, how are we ever going to reach 500? Now, that's... That will speed up once we um, have a bit of a bigger realm and start looting people and, uh, well, just hitting the the execute button in our dungeons, which is here in the prison. You can just click this button, execute prisoners, and they all die. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do some pretty, well, cruel stuff. <laughs> and once we're better at dueling, in fact, speaking of dueling, oh no. Oh no, someone else, I've forgotten to uh, siege the other holding down. This guy is trying to subjugate him at the same time. How dare he? No, he's, he's in a du jour war over that holding. Okay, fine. I'm gonna move my troops back. Uh, I'm gonna move them back in. I'm gonna beat his troops up. The rise of the Shia. Ha! The fools fight amongst themselves. Alright, so there's an uprising in this, uh, this guy's land. He's Sunni. But... Um, this kid who claims to be... Well, he's a Shia. He's launching some kind of, uh, well, attack on him. He, he's claimed to be, you know, the rightful caliph or whatever. But whatever. That's, it doesn't interest us. The fools fight amongst themselves. And there we go. Right, this guy's dead, of course. So we're going to have to redirect our attentions on this guy. Whoever he is. He's just in my core. I don't know. I don't care who he is. We're going to spy on him. I wonder what secrets he's hiding. Okay, we're gonna lower our troops. <clears throat> this guy's annoying. I'm just gonna wait until he like. There we go. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna invalidate this guy's war. We're at 100% war score. We're gonna enforce our demands and oh, we're at war with him now. Great. It didn't invalidate it at all. Fine. You're gonna group this up. And uh, I'm gonna have my. Uh, I'm gonna remove you from that task. I wanna have this marshal actually helping me fight. Because he's amazing. Ah, whatever. We're gonna throw ourselves at him. We don't need him. Come on, fight. Kill him. Kill them all. Uh, no, I need real... We, we don't want to slander the guy. We don't care about that. We want to just kill the guy. Ah. We've got the opportunity to become a uh, master schemer. Yes, of course. Or maybe an impaler. This trait just seems so much better than this trait. This like, gives you... Oh, yeah. Intrigue. And then this one gives you all sorts of stuff. Morale damage when you're leading troops. Intrigue. Learning. Personal combat. It gives you positive opinion with other people who have it. This one's just like, eh, free, free intrigue. If it gave plot power increases, like, uh, th then I would choose this. Hmm. I think for the role playing, there we're going to choose this master schema, of course. We're going to unseat just holding. But anyway, I think I'm going to take a break here. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Um, I'd be very grateful for any kind of feedback. Uh, and if you've watched this far, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, we've got three people. Um, 497 to go. <laughs> I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. Um, we need to probably start from our newborn when we have a kid. Um, from the age of zero. If we inherit 
at that age and then go looting people and sticking them in their dungeons. That would be amazing. But uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.